So thank you very much again, Dr. Singal, for your uh, talk, two talks today at Cheltenham, one on psoriasis and one on onychomycosis. I just have a few questions about your talk on onychomycosis. The first is, what is onychomycosis? So onychomycosis is fungal infection of the nails and uh, it's a very, very common condition. It's about uh, 30 to 50 percent of uh, uh, people will always, once in their lifetime, will suffer from onychomycosis. So it's that common, it's incredibly yeah. common, especially on toenails. Mm -hmm. And so um, who, what kind of people, who, who are the people who get onychomycosis? Yeah. So onychomycosis usually uh, become more common with advancing age. Uh, people who are diabetic or have some other peripheral vascular problem. And it's more common in patients who are on steroids or other immunosuppressive drugs, maybe for cancer or for other things. And it's also more common in male as compared to females. And toenails are more often involved than fingernails. Um, more in men, but uh, fingernails can be involved in women more commonly than men. Why do you think it is that men are more likely to get onychomycosis? Yeah, because uh, uh, trauma is a very important predisposing factor and men um, possibly uh, they wear occlusive shoes all the time while women wear open footwear. Mm -hmm. So um, even the uh, sweating and prolonged wearing of occlusive shoes, closed shoes, predisposed to fungal infections. And moreover, men probably they um, they engage themselves more common in sports, etc., mm -hmm. which are, make them more vulnerable for trauma and thus onychomycosis. That's very um, and how would a person know if they have or that they? What are the symptoms? Of Usually, onychomycosis affects one or two nails, means fewer nails as compared to psoriasis. Mm -hmm. The picture can be very similar. There can be yellowish brown discoloration or there can be some you know scaling under the nail plate uh, which keeps coming out and the nail gets dystrophic like means its shape and uh, changes so it's not very uh, good looking healthy nail so whenever you have something like this involving one or two nail you must consider that you may have onychomycosis and what are then the treatment options that are available? First, it's very important to um, confirm the diagnosis of uh, onychomycosis because the treatment is very long. It takes around three to six months of oral treatment. And therefore, the diagnosis has to be established by either a GP or a dermatologist. Uh, who do um, microscopic examination and they want to demonstrate the fungal elements mm. in the nail plate. Uh, once it is done, then you need to take uh, treatment as prescribed by a doctor. Brilliant. Thank you very much.